On this edition of Terriers Take 5, storm walking. The Terrier women's soccer and field hockey teams volunteer at Walk MS. Give a little bit. BU Athletics raises more than $500,000 as part of Giving Day. And hashtag twinning. The women's rowing program features three sets of identical twins. Here comes Double Trouble. Terriers Take 5 starts right now. and welcome to Terriers Take 5, I'm Brian Moore. In its 100 years, Nickerson Field has been host to a number of events, from athletic competitions to political speeches. Nickerson is also the host site for Boston's Walk MS. On Sunday, April 3rd, Terrier student athletes from the women's soccer and field hockey teams volunteered at Walk MS Boston on Nickerson Field. Blizzard-like conditions didn't stop the Terriers from raising awareness and funds for multiple sclerosis research headed by the National MS Society. Nickerson Field acted as the official start and finish line for the annual event. On Wednesday, April 6th, the BU Athletic Department set out a challenge. 24 hours, 24 teams, continued support for the Terrier athletic programs as part of Giving Day. BU Athletics set new records in 2016, raising more than $500,000 courtesy of nearly 5,000 gifts by student athletes, alumni, parents, and friends from around the globe. Parents, students, fans, alumni, coaches, staff, what a day we had. Almost 5,000 donors contributed $513,000 to Terrier Athletics. We could not be more appreciative, we could not be more grateful. Thank you. Go be you. In its second year using the online giving initiative, this year's totals were nearly five times more than the previous Terrier record set a year ago in 2015, when BU Athletics raised over $110,000. To add a little more competitive spirit, two BU alumni, Mary Baletza and John Hupalo, each donated an extra $10,000 combined to the four Terrier teams that gained the most support. Women's soccer and men's crew came out on top, earning an extra $4,000 each, courtesy of Baletza and Hupalo. Giving Day was a university-wide initiative, with the athletics department bringing in more than a third of the university's $1.5 million raised on that day. Have you ever wondered what it would be like if there was a second version of yourself out there? Hey, what's going on? While the NCAA doesn't keep this as a stat, pretty sure most teams don't feature three sets of twins, like the Terrier women's rowing team. One of the biggest challenges for coaches in collegiate rowing is to create symmetry in the stroke throughout the boat. What better way to achieve that than to have identical twin sisters rowing together in unison? Meet the Quirks, freshmen from Wellesley, Massachusetts. Emma Quirk sat in the sixth seat of the second varsity eight boat while sister Catherine sat in the five seat against Yale and Dartmouth on April 9th. I don't really know what makes us too different. We're pretty similar. We think the same things, feel the same things. I mean, I guess maybe sometimes I'm the more assertive one. Mm -hmm. I talk more. I talk for Emma. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I can because we think the same thing anyway, so. <laughs> Is that true, Emma? Yeah, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Now let's meet the upperclassmen, juniors Kelly and Carrie Wegner from Saratoga, New York. Yeah, I mean, we, I mean, for twins, twins are obviously close in general, um, but for us, we, we've been extremely close all through our childhood and in high school and Actually, now. Actually, freshman year, we decided not to live together because we were like, we never shared a room growing up, so we didn't want to live together. Um, and just try to like meet other people and everything, but then like her roommates and our, my roommate ended up, we all ended up becoming friends, so we all ended up in the same friend groups anyways, but. <laughs> Another freshman set from the women's lightweight rowing team are Gretchen and Lucy Garrity from Manans, New York. 
I thought that was really interesting. I remember when we first were getting recruited and came and visited, and they said like, oh, there's a bunch of twins on the rowing team. We were like, wow, that's cool. So yeah. I think it's really interesting, and it just makes it that more fun when you can share a sport that you love with your twin sister. So. Yeah, and I think it's good because you like motivate each other a lot, and it's like kind of competitive, but more like supportive. Mm -hmm. and it's nice to have someone there. I apologize if I scared anyone with the idea that there are actually two of me out there in the world. But that'll do it on this edition of Terrier's Take 5. You give us five minutes, we'll give you BU Athletics. Look for brand new episodes coming out on Thursdays. The next one will be available on April the 28th. For all news BU, check out the Athletics website at GoTerriers.com. For producer Leo Parra and our entire crew, I'm Brian Moore saying let's go BU.